Hey guys, Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at and answer some of the common questions we get about the Brophy in-bed truck camper lifts. These are the 3,000 pound variety. As you can see, they're available in two different heights. This part number is CJ41. It's going to get you up to 57 inches. And we have CJ74 here. This one gets you up to 67 inches. So I think this one's going to be best suited for a lot of the older type pickups, they tended to have a little bit shorter bed rails. We basically only need to lift the camper up out of our truck bed by a few inches just to get the truck out and then lower it back down. The taller one here, I think this is going to be better suited for your newer trucks. The bed rails seem to be getting a lot higher on the side, especially if you've got any kind of lift or oversized tires, I'd go with the 67 inch version. And if you thought you were going to be switching trucks or upgrading a truck in the future, I would think the 67 inch version would be the way to go. They have a 1500 pound per lift capacity. And a very common question that we get on these is how many am I going to need? Well, in most situations, as long as your camper would be, you know, 22, 2,500 pounds, somewhere in this range, these are going to work out really well and you're only going to need two of them. Basically what we're going to do is center these in on our camper, lift it slightly, and then check for balance. If it's a little front heavy, we'll move them forward. A little back heavy, we'll move them backwards. And generally once you find that spot, you want to mark it one way or another, maybe a small piece of tape or a little mark on there so you know. But we've got plenty of room here. These are 21 and a half inches long, so it spreads that energy out. The camper sits right down on here. And like I said, just need two of them, one on each side lift it up and out we can pull our vehicle out and then just lower it down slightly the overall construction is really nice on them we've got a galvanized top pipe here all of our other hardware is going to be clear zinc coated we've got our pulley coated cable the winch is going to be completely zinc coated so corrosion in that really shouldn't be an issue we have our heavy duty steel construction on the lift arms themselves black powder coat finish there and then a nice large tripod base. One of the things I like about the tripod base, this will collapse down, kind of like that. And if you wanted to, you can lift the tube out, set that aside. Makes it pretty convenient to store. And then just tuck this in and behind it. It'll save you some space in the garage. If you didn't want to have it leaning up against something, you could store it back down in there. Kind of like that. It's a pretty good job of staying up. I would think you'd want a little bit of tilt out on that if you're going to stand it up in this configuration, tuck your other one in there beside it. And not taking up a whole lot of room, but really quite useful in getting that truck bed camper in or out. Now, operation is going to be pretty straightforward. So we're just going to crank it just like basically a boat winch is basically what this is it's going to crank it up and then we'll flip the lever when we want to lower it you can see it doesn't lock in position but it does give a little bit of resistance so you want to keep your hand on the handle when you've got weight on here bring it down those couple inches that you want lock that in position go over and operate your other one if you're doing it individually but they work really well no issues or problems with the winch and how it engages and disengages I like the setup and it seems to be very effective another question that's quite common when I work with customers with these are the positioning uh, generally your camper is going to have its point of balance somewhere over your tire so your tire is going to fit somewhere in this zone we have both longer legs one pointing towards the front of the vehicle one pointing towards the rear and then the shorter leg is going to be outward. It's going to face out and away from your vehicle. A few tips on using these. You can say they do have the larger foot plates here versus like the CJ31. That's the 1,000 pound capacity version. But we need to be on level surface. We really don't want to be on a hill because gravity can kind of take over and want to cause that camper to move one way or another. And you want it to be on a pretty solid base using it in tightly packed gravel, concrete, asphalt, no issues at all. But if we're going to use it in softer ground, like uh, maybe it's muddy ground or sand or something like that, we really need to provide some kind of platform to put that tripod down on. 
We just don't want one side sinking in, causing it to tilt or lean one way or another. Those are the only real tips to using these safely. Of course, you don't want to overload it. You got to be cautious, but they work really effectively. I've used these tons of times, lots of different in-bed campers, and they always work effectively. It's best to use two people, one person on each side, but you can run them individually. We could lift up one side three or four inches to get it off our truck, go to the other side, lift it up, pull our truck out, and then lower them down about six inches side to side. The only real caution you'll have to use with doing that is making sure you don't lower one side down too much because as you do it wants to tilt out towards your pole and you certainly don't want to damage your camper so keep that in mind. But overall they do a really good job. They're a great way to get your your camper in and out. Another question we get around like truck toppers. Some of those can be really heavy and if you don't have an extra set of hands they're pretty cumbersome to get off and these will work on truck bed campers or toppers as well. Um, I don't think there's one that's over 3,000 pounds so you shouldn't have any issues there but just make sure you stay within those weight requirements but if you've got an embed truck camper and getting it in and out's an issue or you had an older set of these they've made these really nice they've upgraded a lot of the components on it so that rust and corrosion that we used to get pretty much all the time is going to be very very minimum and I think they're going to do a good job